Well, welcome back. Elizabeth Madden has a vast collection of cookbooks. So she opened up this one. It's called Princess Pamela's. And it went out of print more than 40 years ago. And she wanted to showcase a few recipes. So let's take a look. Well, this is going to be an absolute treat. Fans of cooking and cooking enthusiasts, this one's for you. You're going to be very inspired. Elizabeth Madden joins us today with Mixie's Vintage. Elizabeth, it's so wonderful to see you. Well, thank you for having me again. This is such a fun, fun concept, right? You're a huge fan of vintage and well-loved cookbooks and recipes. You've brought all this together in Mixie's Vintage. Can you tell us a little bit about the inspiration of getting all of that together? Uh, Mixie's Vintage came from my mom and her love for collecting cookbooks. And she started collecting vintage cookbooks years ago. Um, we started with just a few, grew it to a lot, and she started getting me very interested in finding old recipes, cooking from the old recipes, and just creating and, and having fun with it. So uh, it grew from a few books to a whole room full of books. So, yeah. And <laughs> And today, folks have the chance to engage with these well-loved uh, recipes by way of your blog, Mixie's Vintage. You're also on social media, so they can find this inspiration and go on this journey with you, sort of re-envisioning these well-loved creations. Yes, absolutely. We I try to post every week, and every week I try to do a different book, and um you know, just uh, interesting, uh, bring bringing back the past a little bit, or just uh, modern things that we just kind of put a different twist on it or tweak it a little bit. So, and for those who might not know, you're right here in Richmond. So here we are sharing some recipes from all across the world. We've got a really special one today. Two recipes actually are putting together. These are from Princess Pamela's Soul Food Cookbook. You have yes. the copy right there. Talk us through this. So this is a really wonderful book to have if you are a vintage cookbook collector. You, this is a must in your library. If you're just looking for a great book to have, you, you need to have this. Princess Pamela uh, wrote this book in 1969, and it's a Princess Pamela's Soul Food, food, soul food Cookbook. Um, and I just wanted to show you all um, her original menu that's actually printed in the book. Um, and this is some of, I think, one of you know, her most iconic dishes. Um, so, and today we're hopefully going to make one of those books, uh, um, one of those recipes for you all today. Well, we are already hungry for the fun. You're putting together chicken pie and soda, um, soda biscuits. That'll be the topper for this dish. And again, it's from Princess Pamela's Soul Food Cookbook. Let's get started. Sure. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to either get your um, a pie plate, a deep fried plate, or a casserole dish. And you're going to put um, your chicken, which we have over here. And, and Elizabeth, that chicken is already cooked, just chicken breast it, already cooked? It is already cooked. You can even just buy pre-made chicken from the store, you know, just to cut it up. Um, you can bring your just, you know, ch chicken breast and cook it at home. Whichever works for you, this is really pretty easy, very fast to do, but you're going to mix in peas, um, fennel, I love fennel, the taste of fennel, it's, um, with chicken, so I would add that in there. And you add in your carrots. But again, you can add in whatever vegetables you feel comfortable with or you enjoy. And then you add a uh, gravy, which is really no more than a bechamel sauce, butter, uh, milk, chicken broth, and um, flour. And you mix it all together, heat it up a little bit, add it to your chicken and your vegetables. And while that is cooking, I'm gonna do the uh, biscuit. And the biscuit is um, easy to make, not very difficult, but basically you're gonna sift together, you're gonna sift together the flour with your um, cream of tartar. And I'm 
may not do it all, but you, you um, and then you add your milk with, you add uh, baking soda to your milk and you let it sit. And then you're gonna add your milk component to your flour and just mix it all up together. It turns into a really light and fluffy dough, uh, which we made earlier. And that's, I don't know if you can see that, but that's it right here. And um, you turn it out on your work surface. Roll it out. You want to try to handle it as little as possible, but you know, roll it out, and then either with, um, depending if you want to just cover your whole casserole, or um, you can definitely do that, or you can take it and cut in with a biscuit cutter. We have an old biscuit cutter, and you just put it on top of your um, your chicken pie all around, and then you've got your chicken pie. So you have some options there, Elizabeth, as you said, you could just take the dough, put it right over top as almost like a crust or cut them yeah. out individually as biscuits. You bake it all together or did we pre-bake that chicken pie and then add the biscuits to finish? As long as the chicken is pre-baked, um, that's really all you need to have done because once you mix it all together and you put it in the oven, I believe it's 350, it takes about 15 minutes to cook it. So it doesn't really take that much, you know, too much time to, to do it. But I would say just as long as the chicken is, is pre-cooked. Absolutely beautiful. And I was curious with that recipe, was your reinterpretation adding the fennel or was that part of uh, Princess Pamela's original recipe? No, no, I, I added the fennel in. Um, what a beautiful. I don't think she even had peas. So I think I added the peas in as well. Um, and we did, I also did do the, the uh, soda biscuits um, her way, her original way, which was using lard. And I've got these over here. I don't know if you can see them or not, Jessica, but this is the biscuits using the lard and biscuits using butter. And it's not much of a difference, but I, I know people don't really like to use lard that, you know, that much nowadays. So you're perfectly fine with using just butter. And I actually um, did have to tweak a little bit where we added a little bit more butter to her original recipe. Well, it's interesting. You get to go on these culinary journeys or just cooking enthusiast journeys. You've done a lot of the uh, heavy lifting by doing these reinterpretations of some well-loved creations. So that's really a lot of fun. We're just out about uh, just about out of time. I know you have two other ones there that you're a big fan of. These are also from Princess Pamela's cookbook. Do you want to tell us quickly about those? Sure. Um, she is, she made it, it, Princess Pamela was also inspired by her mother. Her mother's name is Beauty. So she has a sauce called Sauce Beautiful, it, you know, in honor of her mom. And it's basically just a peach preserve. Um, I think it would be wonderful to try it with also tomato um, jam as, you know, the summertime comes along. But you add in it um, sugar. I, I added in a little bit of smoked paprika, Tabasco lemon juice, mix it all together. That's your sauce, beautiful. Um, and all of that is on my, on the, on the blog. Um, and then you take, you can, she has it on, um, on ribs. So you cook your ribs, add in the, um, the sauce, beautiful, cook it a little bit more. And then you've got these ribs that are just so wonderful, taste amazing. So highly recommend those as well. Well, we are hungry for more Elizabeth Madden with Mixie's Vintage. Thank you so much for making time, taking us through these delicious recipes. And we'll have a link on our website so folks know where to find you. And I wasn't yet following you, but guess what? That's going to change in about 30 seconds. So thank you, Elizabeth. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We'll uh, be sure to post all the information on WTVR.com slash VTM so all our friends watching right now can learn more. Thank you so much, Jessica. That's one of my top favorite food groups is a chicken pot pie, Bill. I just, I love it. And her spin on all of those flavors was just the tops. Jess, you said Elizabeth's here in Richmond, right? Did yeah. you say that? Well, all right. Yep. So we found a cookbook at the house that was favorite recipes of the first ladies from Martha Ooh. Washington, but it stopped at Nancy Reagan. Now, I don't know if that fits as vintage, but we might try to get in touch with her and, and pass those on that book on to her because I, I bet she could bring some of those back to life.
It was really cool talking with her because she and her mother had this um, passion for collecting all the books. And, and at one point I think had thousands of cookbooks <laughs> that they had collected. So she's yeah. got a lot of inspiration to page through. And it was really neat talking about that and sharing. And then the recipes, it just was really cool. Really cool. And, and it looked delicious too. All right, we have about two and a half minutes to go before our favorite part of the show is coming up next. Stick around, two and a half minutes.